because our position on privatization is clear. You know. So, but we are worried whether the amendments are critically based on market, private, public, where we belong now. You know. So that was why we were now having tried privatization for about 10 years, and we are doing just the amendment of sections of the uh, act. And then even the review provision in the act, which gave provision for a review of uh, the sector after five years. And we have written consistently, and it has not happened. It's not a matter of opinion of the NGF as a forum or of the states. It is a position that rests absolutely on the Constitution and the provisions of the Constitution that make power, electricity, the concurrent responsibility of the federal government and the states. And the Constitution is quite explicit, actually, in um, paragraph 14 of Schedule 2, where it is explicitly stated that the states have power to make laws for electricity um, operations that are conducted within the boundaries of their state. Where is Chairman Neck? Is he want to give you anything on tariffs? I can't speak on tariffs. The Chairman Neck can speak on that. There is no, 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 no. Don't put me in a corner. No, no. There's someone responsible for Neck. If I, you want me to tell you what does not apply, and, and you hold me on to that responsibility. The Chairman Neck is here, so let me bring him here. Let me be, let me bring him here. So what you ask me, he will answer it. The, the chairman neck is also for tariff increase, okay? So. We are only here today to address the challenges and the needs of the governor's firm. They feel that there is a constitutional provision that gives them the right to form a, a regulatory agency, like Nigeria Regulatory Electricity Agency. So they want this in individual state. That's all what we sit today to consider. We have, we, we have seen their concern and we'll look into the concern.